prokaryotes. So in this video, I'll be talking about beta proteobacteria, gamma proteobacteria, and epsilon proteobacteria. There are two other groups, alpha proteobacteria and delta proteobacteria. Those two I'm not covering in this particular video, but I do have notes available for you in my microbiology study modules. If you want these modules, then you can click the link in my uh, description box and you can get the notes and these videos, the modules. So on to the video. First up, we have beta proteobacteria. And the bacterium that I will be talking about within this group is Neisseria meningitidis. This bacterium causes an infection called meningococcal meningitis. Now, where can you find it? You can find it in mammals in their mucous membrane. Gamma proteobacteria. Within this group, the bacterium that I will be discussing here is Pseudomonas arucinosa. Now, this bacterium can cause infections like pneumonia, septic shock, gastrointestinal infections, and urinary tract infections. Now, where can you find this particular bacteria? Well, you can find them in catheters. And they cause cross infections in hospitals and clinics. Epsilon proteobacteria. The bacterium within this group that we're talking about is Heliobacter pylori. Now the infection caused by this particular bacterium is peptic ulcers. Where can you find um, this particular bacterium? Well, you can find them in your stomach. So it can be transmitted from human to human through saliva. So human to human through saliva, vomit, and fecal matter. You can also find it in contaminated food. And water. Need more help? Click the link in my description box to get started with your microbiology study module.